ballistics <clears throat> gel block overview of how the 200 grain LRX Barnes bullet performed shot out of a 300 PRC With the high velocity load this is the mushroom we got it impacted the gel at uh, just over 3,000 feet per second you have almost immediate expansion leading edge of the bullet at 23 and 3 quarters that good massive portion of that permanent loom cavity is from about that you know immediate to 11 inches where it starts tapering down but still carries decent permanent loom cavity to approximately 17 and a half inches um, we have tears on all four sides of my blocks we had it over five inch in the largest portion of that permanent loom cavity where it starts tapering down there you still have just shy of two inches and still just over an inch and that's at that uh, roughly 14 and 17 inch marks so did fairly good only shed one pedal at the higher velocity that lower velocity one was running 1660 something feet per second I don't remember exact and I, uh, I didn't write it down I probably should have but it was uh, just over 1600 feet per second you have it starting opening up at approximately the inch and an eighth inch mark and then it carries decent permanent loom cavity till it exits the gel block at just over 20 inches of penetration and then in here where you can see the spiral I see a heavier piece off or not piece but section in there where it's wider where I think one of those pedals didn't fold back as far and that's what pushed and veered that up and out of the block at least that's what I'm thinking happened there but you have that uh, larger portion where it's a really pretty spiral there at just just over two inches and then out here where I think that uh, was what that pedal was doing you have almost two and a half but if you take out that larger portion of where I think that one pedal just didn't fold back as far you're just under two inches and I'll show you part of what, why I think that if you look at the gel block on the end here and you go from that nice three-way plus tear to one big heavy tear going down and I just think that was just one pedal sticking down further than the other on that low velocity load but overall I mean Barnes bullets uh, as far as copper bullets go are some of the better ones in the market yes I have tested others that perform uh, better at low velocities and still hold together without shedding any pedals at the higher velocities so there are a few on the market that have a slightly larger velocity range they will operate in but when it comes to uh, copper bullets and their performance this right here is really hard to beat just overall great performance come to the top of the block where this should show pretty good how it just spiraled through that block beautifully Overall, you can't complain with that kind of performance. Very, very lethal, very good bullets if you're using them in the velocity ranges that they're recommended for. These are recommended, or said they'll operate down to 1600 feet per second. I was just above that. They obviously will. Overall, pretty darn good performance. Hope you guys enjoy this video.